Yeah. So first thing, okay. Thank you everyone for joining today's event. And uh, um, I don't know, but uh, perhaps uh, this is first time I do for FM6. Uh, normally, this is quite an easy model. Uh, I can see that the pass rate is just about like about from 80 to 90%. Uh, so normally I don't do this because uh, it's quite basic and uh, students may easily score um, a pass in this kind of, in this kind of exam. But um, it it would be unfair for um FM six uh it be unfair for FM six students. Okay, uh, since I have never covered um this module before. Actually, I uh I I did cover, but um. Uh, I think the numbers of session or the number of the number of time I spent on this is quite small in compare with other modules like L four M three or L four M five. So therefore today I would like to present L four M six and uh, this time is quite critical. And as you know, starting from Tuesday, uh, you we we will have the uh, exam for uh September. Okay, so let's try uh some question for S one six. Yeah, this works. Okay, so uh, let's try some question for S one six. But um for more competition and for more engagement. And of course, I think you also expect some kind of return when you join our game. Therefore, um, before we start, let me introduce a new way, uh, a, a, a small game uh, during this session so that you can join and get some prize. Okay, um, first thing, I, I, I normally don't do like, okay, I, I think that you would, like to know about what you can get from uh today game and competition. Okay, so let's come to the price first. Okay, what could be the reward here? Right, so um we can spend uh some couple of bucks to award the students with some uh prize for their engagement and participation and to the event and of course uh, to test also to test their uh, knowledge in certain um uh, in, in certain questions and also uh, increase the um excitement when we try this question as well okay so um with the prize then uh, we can either provide one of the three if you don't have any access by now to fm6 then we can give you a lifetime access to FM6. Okay, we can give you uh give the code to your email so that you can assess FM6 our FM6 practice questions for free and for lifetime. Okay, that is about from uh, uh that is that that worth like uh nineteen dollar ninety nine on Udemy currently. Okay, um but if you bought FM6 before and you already own our our practice questions then um there are other price for your preference okay so uh you can either select a um 15 dollar gift code uh for netflix okay so 15 dollar here may be equivalent for one month of uh, netflix uh premium okay so you can enjoy uh, different shows and movies on netflix or it could be a uh, a small small gift for your mobile okay we can send you $15 in mobile top up okay uh pay for your mobile bill here yeah. of course only a small fraction right uh but actually I think my uh, monthly mobile subscription is about $15 so I I set up this um price okay but uh uh I think that um in your country these costs would be higher but uh anyway then just give you some um excitement when you in when you join this event okay and uh, uh so this is a price but uh now okay this is a price this is i think what you want to get but um i think uh the next thing we need to do 
is to understand the rules regarding how they um match the game. Okay. Um, but uh, I especially don't like the complex rule, and I want something simple and fair. Okay. But um, sometimes uh, absolute fairness or equity is very hard to achieve. So uh, I just try my best here. Okay. So the rules are very simple. We have. I have. I just collect nine questions today. Okay. And uh, I always want to ensure that. They are the most challenging and require you to work your best. Uh, so there, there are nine questions, and for each question, we will record uh, the um, answer in uh, chronological order. Okay, like the first one who answer would be um record, and then and then um we just look at the time you answer. Okay, so uh for this Skype kind of game, uh since we only engage through Zoom and uh, I don't have any additional uh, tools or uh, software here. So we only use Zoom. Zoom For each question, please provide me your answer in the chat box. Okay. And the time of the answer would be used for the assessment for the award. Okay. So the first, okay, the fastest and correct answer would get five points. Okay. Uh, actually, it should be the fastest correct answer. Like it should be correct first, and then we will look at the time and the first answer that is correct and uh, uh, that is correct would be uh re would be rewarded by five points. The second one gets four points. The third one gets uh three points. Okay, sorry, I uh, need to correct this. The third one gets three points. The Fourth one gets two point, the fifth gets one, and other answer after that would be recorded as you know, okay, there's no additional score here. So you need to be the quickest, the fastest to get this award. And uh by the end, I would ask my colleague Jessica to summarize and let me know who is the uh, highest scorer. Okay, so yes. the highest, uh, Jessica, please help me on this. And the highest scorer would be awarded with the prize. Okay, uh, the prize I just did here. So uh, we have very limited budget. So sorry, I, I only have one prize today. But um, over time, if I uh, have some extra budget for organizing the event, then I think we would uh, be more generous on uh, this kind of game. Okay, so the rules are clear. The price, okay, I think at least it uh, is somewhat attractive, but I don't know. Uh, maybe you may have some different opinion. And now let's start our question. Okay, but before I start, is there any question for me? Is there any question for me? Okay, any question for the price? Any question for the knowledge or something else? Before I start, yeah, okay. Thank you, Jessica and Karen and Alexander. All right, uh, very nice. Okay, nice. Uh, does anyone know how to chat on Zoom? Okay, I, at least I think uh, you're typing on this, then I, I would assume that you know how to uh, tie on Zoom chat. All right, so let's start with the first question. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, question number one about contract termination. Zidi, I think um as a summary, then um pretty many okay, so um with from six, um majorly the question are quite straightforward and uh, it they doesn't they don't require um much attention, but there are some questions I think would be more challenging. 
and um, a particular error, uh, some particular errors that I think are more difficult include the part on termination and the um, uh, comparative strategies like differentiation cost leadership. So you will see many questions like that today. Okay, so the first question about termination. Right, what could be the answer here? Okay, but uh, answer with C. Anyone else? Maran C. Karen C. Okay, four arms, three. Sorry, three. Yeah, more coming. Okay, quite anonymous, sorry, quite uh, anonymous. Uh, sorry, are you not? Uh, are you not? Um, this is about CIP exam, not CIPP. This is about CIPS exam. Okay, and uh, only with, uh, I can see that most answer are uh, very close to all answer uh, provide with C, that only Char Charlene um, answer with B. Okay, so for the first question, let me announce the answer here. It should be Okay, for the first question, it should be C. <laughs> right. So um when you look at this question, um this is a question about the uh, continuation of the contract for um of an outsourcing contract. Uh with outsourcing contract, as you can see from SIP study guys from both F4, FOM4 and FOM6 they emphasize on the continuity of employment and especially the uh, a, a particular piece of regulation here that is 2p and uh, for this question um we have a security security guard uh, that worked for this uh, company that worked for this school only for time so uh with the replacement of the supplier with the um switch of the supplier, then uh, the regulation would still provide a protection of uh, employment for this um for this graph. Okay, so the answer here is C. Okay, you can read the detailed explanation here. Um with this question then the employee employment rights would be the uh, uh, most important part of the termination of termination. Okay, and uh, especially regarding with the uh, 2P or transfer of undertakings protection of employment regulations. Okay, uh, and uh, this provides that um, the contract for RSOC should maintain the continuity of employment. Okay, uh, let's move on to the second question. Okay, so I uh, close the first question at... Um, 10, 14, uh, GMT plus two or Central African tax. Okay, let's switch to the second question. Let's switch to the second question. Okay, the second one. Question number two. All right, so what is the answer here? As, as I said before, um. Many questions today would be about the termination and uh, competitive strategies. 
they tend to be the most challenging part of study guide, but uh, overall, then uh, I, I think you can perform this well. Yeah, uh, with the second question, the opinion varies. Okay. Okay, we have uh, some answer like from my own, yeah, sorry, uh, my own, my your what? Sorry. The, sometimes I, uh, I, I feel very hard to pronounce the name, but uh, that's on my part. Okay, uh, with this question, I see uh, my Yowa answer would be Karen with A, Bath with D, Shalim C, Merang B, on B, on G, B, okay, John C, Gita A, D, C. Pretty bright answer. Okay, and within only two minutes, I can see that there are a lot of answer here. Okay, question number two start from uh ten seventeen in Central African time, and um, can be it's uh, uh let me have the watch here. All right, so for question number two, I can see that um, it, uh, it 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 confused some students, right? So it asks about differentiation strategy and the one of the three comparative strategies by uh, Michael Porter. Um, for the three strategies, we have the cost leadership, differentiation, and focus. Focus. Uh, with the uh, cost leadership, it means uh, the business or the firm competes in a market with the, uh, the lowest cost. Okay. With differentiation, then the strategy uh, about providing the, uh, I can say that they, they can provide like pre premium product or premium service or uh, in other words, could be a um, yeah a, a high quality service, and uh, with differentiation, they need to expand the market scope, competitive scope. Why? This is for a wide market, not for a niche market. So the answer here should be B. And congratulations to anyone answer with that. Okay, All right, let me close Q2. Okay, I need to text into, yeah. So um, with the review of the answer, I need to close a particular question. So, so I close uh, Q2 at uh, 10, 21 um, Central African time. Okay, so uh, with this question, uh, I would like I I asked about differentiation strategy, and uh, here we need to differentiate between um two groups of strategy. Uh, um, a group of strategies focus on a bigger market or a broader market, and the other one focus on the niche market. With the former, with the strategies on big market or on uh, broad on broad market it means like uh, you can consider a market for something uh, for some product okay, like the market for fashion right it is a big market very big one uh, could work like hundreds of trillion of dollar worldwide okay it's very big and um, differentiation here it means just provide a lot of high quality uh, garments on the market, 
okay, and target different groups of buyer. Okay, that is the uh that is the broad uh that is the broad differentiation. But with um focus differentiation, it will be different. Um, the firm or the business would focus on a particular group of buyers or a particular type of growth. Like I may I may sell um special jeans for example i may sell um high quality uh, jacket for example okay so i may focus on a particular product like jeans or jacket or trouser or skirt uh something like that okay but uh, with general differentiation it should be about every okay different type of product different different variety and targeting the broad market uh different buyers Right. Uh, you can read a uh, more specific, more specific explanation here. Okay. So differentiation involve offering unique products or service. They appeal to the broad market, right? And the broad market is very different from the, uh, um, the, the niche market. With the niche market, uh, we mean like for a small variety of product or a group only a small group of buyer like um young uh young buyers or uh, children or a uh, senior buyer or a uh, middle class buyer okay so uh with niche market we focus on a particular group group and product right that is differentiation okay so the answer here is b okay now let me let me turn to question number three. Okay, it's about outsourcing. What is the reason for outsourcing in this scenario? Okay. Karen, very quick. So let's see. Uh, followed by Alexander. <clears throat> okay, I can see that. Um Yeah, the answer are coming very quick. Um, this kind of rule, I think it would be pretty unfair for anyone who have um limited access to the internet. Like maybe due to slow connection, the message may take a uh, forever to go, or my presentation may be a uh, a few second uh, behind behind the actual time. So uh, that would be unfair, but um, I uh, can do little about that. And uh, I cannot like, um, I cannot assure the uh, um, equal access to the uh, question here. But anyway, then I would like to provide um, a more, instruct, more exciting way to engage and uh, maybe uh, some adrenaline for getting the results. Okay. <clears throat> perhaps next perhaps next time I need to uh push a clock here, uh show the time like we may limit a party question for only five minutes. For only five minutes. <clears throat>
All right. So I uh, still wait. I'm still waiting for more answers, but uh, it uh, have like people um doesn't provide anything after after uh ten twenty seven um a.m. in Central African time. Okay, I think it's time to provide the answer here. So this is a question when uh, we have a, like, um, maybe a clinic uh, that has the uh, need for outsourcing uh, the contract for IT service, and especially uh, particularly about um, database management. So uh, the, the thing is, uh, this card management, this card job is quite specialized and require a uh, very um qualified and highly trained professional to do, to perform. So the answer for this question would be, I'm oh, sorry, C. Okay. Uh, the the reason, the main reason for selecting uh for outsourcing in this question is to um, search for an expert in the field. Okay, so uh, the answer is C. And let me close the question number three here. Okay, so thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for doing this. All right, so um, it is quite straightforward. Uh, the question, sorry, uh, the solution is um, very simple. Um, when we want to do something, but uh, we don't have the ability to do that. Then we need to um, search for an expert. Of course, um, the uh, clinic here, the clinic in this question may find, uh, uh, they, they may recruit an internal IT professional or uh, an internal IT specialist here, but that would uh, cost, that would cost uh, a lot. And especially they need, would need to go through a very, very long process of recruitment. Uh, furthermore, uh, if they only recruit one IT specialist, um, there could be some problem, okay, like uh, sudden rise the workload and other things. So outsourcing here could be um, uh, quite advantageous since they can have like expand the contract over time. And uh, we just need to find a competent IT service provider. Okay, uh, also you can uh, read the detailed explanation here. Right, um, for this question, uh, the clinic doesn't, the clinic doesn't have the ability to manage the database. Their main and core activity would be uh, examine and provide healthcare service for uh, patients. Okay, so they don't have the ability in any uh, um, expertise in database management. Okay. All right, let's move on with question number four. Okay, again, about competitive strategy. What could be, what could be the strategy here? Okay, uh the first the first two answers from Karen and Bob. I I can say that I, I need to say that uh these guys are very quick. Okay, what one of them uh saying C. Okay, uh, next from Maywa from Charlene on on G okay, Natucho Amiga O C by that also C. Don't dig with okay. Very different. B.
Okay, and uh, um, there are conflicting um, answers here. Some would say C and some would say B. Okay, but uh, later on when uh, I, I think that the majority would shift to B. <clears throat> All right, so I think um, we may close uh, question number four here. Uh, Jessica, please help me to close that. Thank you. Okay, so with question number four, uh, we have a scenario with a supermarket and uh, it is com competing with uh, other competitors and uh, the competitors are doing something like uh, provide the grocery at a cheaper price or uh, provide only organic products and the supermarket decide to offering superior customer service maybe like they may provide free delivery for um, customer from far away or maybe a uh, better experience at the uh, uh, supermarket like um faster checkout or something like that and uh, this is an example of differentiation strategy and B is the correct answer here. Congratulations to Anna would be. The thing is, I can I can see that earlier in this question. Okay, so um the first ans the first answers I see for this question come with C. Okay, uh maybe it's really a little bit confused because of the wording that Michael Porter used. So he's he he used focus for the strategy for um uh, focusing on the niche market or niche market and uh, the thing is um with focus we have two sub strategies uh cost focus or differentiation focus it means uh they focus on a particular um market but they also differentiate or provide the uh, product or the service at the lowest possible cost okay so uh, there are two sub strategies with focus, and even within the <clears throat> even within the with, within the scenario, we can see that there are two competitors. One competitor provides groceries at much cheaper price. Okay, it means they are uh, playing uh, cost leadership, and the other one uh, provide only organic products. Okay, so they are playing with focus with a niche market on based on the product. Okay, uh, they only provide organic and uh, healthy product bicycle, and that only serve a small, no, uh, just only serve a fraction of the market. But wider market, they may want like a uh, soft ring or something, or some uh, candies or some cookie. Okay, um, those things are not inherently evil, but uh, only become a problem uh, when we consume them too much. But uh, so supermarket may still provide those things for anyone with that kind of need. Okay, and that's nothing wrong. So uh, the supermarket here still aim at um, the wide target audience, but uh, with superior customer service. That is an example of differentiation. Okay, so that's the answer. That's the answer. Okay, that with the uh, differentiation. All right, uh, here is more detailed explanation for, for you to read. All right, <clears throat> let's come with question number five. Question number five. Again, about competitive strategy. Okay, this time about cost leadership. What could be the answer here?
very quick bath comes with B. Mayowa also B. Okay, anyway, B. Amiba, B. Karen comes with A. Red, A. Arsenal, B. Okay, so, um, we have A and B. He will be here. Patricia is wondering. Yeah, uh, when when the answer come later, I think uh, the majority would shift to A. All right, so I think uh, we may close question number five here. Is that part? Yeah. Jessica, uh, help me to close that. Okay, thank you. Uh, with question number five, did you about cost leadership? Cost leadership. Uh, so we have uh, another term could be like no proofs. What does it mean by no proofs? Uh, I know that um, when <clears throat> I know that uh, the majority within uh, the SIP student are not from the US, but um, my computer is a US professor and uh, he, write, he wrote a book about a competitive strategy, competitive advantage. And uh, he used a lot of slang from U.S. businesses and no frills is one of the word, uh, one of the American slang. And no frills means no frills mean <clears throat> nothing special, nothing special, nothing additional, not, nothing extra. Okay, so that is no frills. Okay, only basic no frills, right? So partnership can be described as no frills. That's correct. And uh, uh, we need to find the better answer among A and B. Both of them are yes. So with A, um, it, it here stands for cost leadership, lowers the cost and increases the uh, competitive scope. Okay, and with B, it lowers the cost and differentiates the product. With cost, with cost leadership, we don't try to do differentiation. Okay, they are completely different strategies. So B can be removed here. They, it can be uh, eliminated here. And the answer should be A. Congratulations to an, anyone with A. Okay, uh, it lowers the cost and increase the competitive scope. Okay, that is cost leadership. Especially, it's, especially when it uh, targets a wide audience. Okay, so uh, cost, cost leadership as no fruits and um, because it focuses on min minimizing the, the cost and um, offer the product or service at the lowest price. Okay, and uh, aim at 
the broad market. Okay, um, let's move on question number six. Question number six. Okay, let's start. A pretty long one and uh, of course quite challenging as well. Okay, take your time, read that, analyze that, and please give me the answer. Surprise is waiting. I'm waiting for the answer here. Okay, Karen, very fast, come with A. Natucho, A on, on key, A. Mayuwa, B. Okay, so majority would be A. Okay, Jessica, now I think it's time to close this question. Please help me to close question number six. Yeah, thank you. All right, uh, with question number six, we have pretty long scenario. And I think that this um, company has some uh, okay, pretty uh, dire problem. Um, the company is one of the six. It, was, it is one of the six electronic companies in the country, and uh, it needs to purchase a high, a, a high spare. Sorry, it needs to purchase a, a specialist cable, and there are only five cable manufacturers. Okay, and uh, uh, the procurement officer here has. Uh, Studied that all suppliers use the same materials and same type of manufacturing line, and the price are very similar. And um, and after paying for the cable, the company need to pay additional twenty five percent on moving and installing. Okay, so when everything are uh, everything is largely the same, what could give this company an Competitive or uh, a competitive advantage here. Uh, previously, uh, I think I I actually I thought previously I thought the answer here would be about like single shot because uh because there are nothing could be improved here, including the price, including the specification. Then we may try single shot to increase the economy of scale but if we believe that if we believe that uh, through 
technology through investment, then over time, Zoltre, Joseph company may get some advantage. Okay, like <clears throat> they may um have some development uh project with the supplier, and they may try to find another way to produce the cable with more competitive or with a higher quality. Okay, by that and by enabling the partnership, uh, jo Joseph and his company may achieve uh, some kind of like a uh, competitive advantage. Okay, so over time, in long run, then if they have right strategy, if they have the right type relationship, and if they if they have the right type of investment, then they could get the uh, they will get the advantage. Okay, and uh, it must be enabled through partnership. Through partnership. Okay, uh, so first thing, the partnership uh, in short run, it may have with the, uh, um, it may have to, with, with the part on uh, installing and logistic, and that may reduce the part, of, like have like 25% part. And uh, with the long run, then investment in innovation and research and development could have both companies as well. So partnership would be the answer here. Okay, uh, that is question number six. Now, uh, let's move on question number seven. Uh, what can be done in parental analysis? Um, oh, sorry, Daniel, can you come back to question six? Okay. Uh, question six. So I miss the voice. So I want to confirm that the correct answer is A. Yes, the correct answer is A. Okay, thank you. All right. So uh, with question six, um, in short run, um, the uh, <clears throat> partnership may provide with the help on the installing and the logistic costs. And in very long run, uh, partnership may have with the research and development, so that um, both companies may gain, uh, may gain the benefits. Like uh, may they may change the way they produce or manufacture that cable that provide better quality or lower cost. Or oh, they may research a way to uh, find new material so that they can reduce the uh, or. Uh, reduce the supply risk and eliminate the bottleneck. Okay. Uh, in that way, then partnership may help. Okay, but it requires investment and high trust uh, among the uh, partners here. Uh, with question number seven, uh, let's come back to this. Uh, this is not a difficult question. Okay, we all know what does it mean by parental. But um, sometimes, you know, uh, SIP may ask you some confusing questions because of their wording. So uh, let's analyze further into this question and what can be the answer here. Okay. Liz, I'm waiting for your opinion. Okay, I see and Karen. Bob, A, Karen, C. Okay, A and C. A and C. Right, take your time. And um, please note that if you have different opinion, you may type uh, another answer and uh, we only recognize your latest answer. Okay, but um, the answer must be correct and uh, quick enough to get the score.
All right. Any other opinion? Okay, so um, actually I uh, particularly like um, reading history and sport. Um, I mean, watching sport. Because uh, with sport and with history, we all see the planning and strategy. And uh, that, that is the part I like from both. So uh, just uh, some caution. And uh, I mean, uh, with, with this kind of competition, then I think sometimes we may have capital strategy. Okay, uh, strategy for the long run, like in the later questions, you need to be more patient. You need to uh, focus, stay sharp uh, throughout the competition. Okay, that, that is the part of strategy. You need to manage your own energy and uh, resources. So um, with this question, I can say that among the answer. Uh, and sorry, first thing, Jessica, uh, close question number number seven for me. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So um, with this question, I can say that only one answer, only one participant get the score. Okay, and that's Yanga. Congratulations. Okay, so for this question, uh, we are did a combination question. We have one, two, three, and four, and you need to find the right combination here. The thing is, um, you need to read carefully, and that could be quite confusing. Okay, um, the majority say about A or C. Okay, A we have one and two, and C we have two and three, and the common thing, you see that. Both answer, both answers here, both options here have number two. Number two means um identifies item into leverage and strategic. So first helping to prioritize procurement activity. The problem is parental analysis is only analyzed using 8020 rule, right? 8020 rule, very famous. And attitude rule only help you to distinguish the value um, and the contribution of the items. Okay, they don't have you with the supply risk, obviously. Why the difference between leverage and strategic quadrants within Pranjit's portfolio matrix is about the supply risk. Okay. That cannot be done by parallel analysis. We need to have risk assessment to distinguish between leverage and strategy. Okay, number two. See again, it means separating item into leverage or strategic quadrant, right? And the difference here, both leverage and strategic, both leverage and strategic items have high value. If you can recall the uh, parental analysis. You can sorry. Uh, you can recall project portfolio matrix. Both of them have high value or high spend. Okay, so parental doesn't have that. The difference between them is about the supply risk. So number two is incorrect. Okay, so both A and C and also D are incorrect. Only B remains. And of course, con again, congratulations to Yanda. Actually, I, I, I think um, you, you, uh, you, you deserve to get an additional score here. Only you are correct, but um, the rule, the rule are the rule. I, uh, I announced the rule earlier, but uh, I, I should not amend it as I see fit. That would be unfair. So the rule are the rule. Okay, so um, only Yanda get five points here. Okay, so number one and three are correct. Uh, with number one, we may allocate the um, uh, energy on more important item. Okay, and with number three, we may separate them into critical few and trivial many. Okay, that is the uh, general statement about Pareto and ABC analysis. B is correct, and this is more uh, detailed explanation. 
okay uh one and three okay uh, number one here and number three here and number two is incorrect because leverage and strategic items are separated by the supply risk which cannot be done by parallel but by risk assessment okay that is question number seven you can see that uh it is not difficult in really what you can learn you this is what you can read from study guide but you need to read the question and the options more carefully okay question number eight is coming all right so what could be the answer here what could be the answer here question number eight about fashion retailer Okay, the answers are coming <coughs> first from Randy Way uh, with B, second uh, followed by Charlie with B, Bart with B, on G, A. Right, and continue. Okay, uh, currently I see that um, there are some kind of like uh, diversity of answer and uh, I, I, I can't even see that all the answers are selected. Okay. We are not sure about this. So um, yeah, I, I think I'll just give you a little bit more time with a little bit more. All right, uh, Jessica, please help me to close this question. 
times. Okay, with question number eight, we have a low cost uh, fashion retailer and um, they do something like um, purchase for resale. Uh, they purchase from low, low cost country and then resale it in Europe. And uh, the margin, although uh, they do that, but the margin for this kind of business is small. Uh, and they rely on big volume sales to make the profit. And uh, what can be done here to improve? What can be done here to improve the profitability and especially done by procurement team? <clears throat> okay, and uh, the answer will arrive. So first thing, uh, this is a low cost fashion, low cost fashion uh, retailer, right? So they are doing like um, cost leadership, cost leadership strategy, uh, and uh, and therefore, um, improving the quality would not be would not be their uh, focus here. Would not be their uh, strategy here. So B can be uh, option B can be eliminated. B should be eliminated. Uh, second. Okay. Um, about uh, they are making large. Uh, they are purchasing in bulk and uh, rely on uh, volume sale to make the profit. So therefore, um, the cost measurement, the cost measurement would be the most, the most important for procurement here. Okay, and uh, uh, with that purpose, then they need to manage the uh, purchase price and A is the most appro appropriate answer here. Okay, so um, they rely on big sale and they also are making very thin profit, very small profit on each product. Therefore, uh, they need to manage the uh, uh, purchase price and uh, Purchase price and selling price accordingly. Okay, uh, in a way that trying to expand their profit. So A is correct here. And if you want to read more and written explanation, then come here. Okay, um, really about the small profit and high volume sale. Uh, and managing the price would be the most crucial. Okay, and this price includes the uh, purchase price with the, from the supplier and other procurement costs. Okay, and then the retailer may manage the uh, competitive pricing. Okay, uh, they are following the cost leadership. So uh, they need to manage the price more closely. Okay, so the answer is A. And congratulations to anyone select A. Okay. That is question number eight. All right, very good. And let's come to question number nine. Question number nine. Okay, so question number nine about a dry organization. Okay, um, you know that uh, it, when it comes to supply chain measurement and measurement in general, uh, we may have two ways. Uh, either lean or jack, but uh, they are kind of like two, uh, two ends of the same spectrum, okay? Uh, and we are in middle between lean and jack. And this question is asking about a jack. What does it mean by a jack? Please let me know your answer. Uh, and one more thing, you need to select two options. You need to select two options, okay, a small note. All right. Um, Provide the answer here. I'm waiting for it. Okay. 
K, Karen, B and D, B and D. Right, so um, the majority here is about B and D, and um, some answer come with A and D or this with um B and C or uh A and D. <coughs> and even I can see that uh, C and D as well. Okay, uh, we have um, some answers here. Jessica, uh, it's time to close question number nine. Okay, right. So um, let me talk a little bit about lead and agile. Uh, with lean, it means we need to eliminate the waste. That is the ultimate objective. So with lean, uh, we need to remove everything unnecessary, like uh, additional line, additional product, or uh, more inventory. With agile, then the ultimate objective here is about meeting the demand, is to satisfy customer demand. Um, therefore, um, to meet with agile, to achieve the agility here, you need to store, you need to produce more line product to fit uh, more need. You need to store more inventory, okay, and respond to market demand more quickly, like spend a lot and um, do a lot on market research. So uh, among the five options here, we can see that um, with A, uh, for I say it's like focus on short lead time by managing stock inventory using control measures. Okay, this one fits better into lean. Lean lean means uh short lead time, less inventory. Okay, so I is better for lean, not agile. With B, managing stock inventory by focusing on responding to market demand. This fit better into a job since uh, we can see the word responding to market demand. Okay, that is uh, B. That is B. So B is one of the correct answer. Uh, with C, developing supply chain partners with suppliers using relationship performance measures. So uh, with both Lean and Agile, uh, we all need to manage the performance of the suppliers. Therefore, C is capitalized neutral, and uh, it is um it is an it is a necessary 
Management Technique for both Lean and Agile, with the develop, developing supply networks to maximize new opportunities when market forces re, require quick response. Okay, so we have we see the opportunity and response here absolutely for a job. And E, uh, the governance is based on long term business value and adaptation. Okay, sounds very nice, but uh, not quite correct. Since it is about long term, why a drive means, why a drive means respond to market demand, uh, in a quick time. Okay, so not long term. Uh, e would be better for something like um sustainability, for example. So the correct answer here include B and D. Okay, and congratulations to anyone select B and D. Okay, uh, I mark them here. And here is the explanation. Okay, so um with market demand, uh agile mean you need to meet the market demand, you need to store more inventory, you need to, to have more uh, variety of product. Okay, and every time the customer will see something or they want something, uh you must have that. Okay, that is a job. And with um opportunity, maximizing opportunity, absolutely an uh, agile approach. Since um every market opportunity every business opportunity would be leveraged by this company okay so uh that is the final question today and jessica please tell me uh or you can text me the result who uh, uh, and type like how many points each participant gets after this um uh, after this question yes wait for me one minute Okay, we shall wait for Jessica. Please wait. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> while we are waiting for Jessica, I see a request from Bob. Um, do we have focus area discussion? Uh, for this focus area, then uh, even after the change in the syllabus uh, earlier this year uh, in March, sorry, uh, in uh, early 2024, then uh, um, the focus areas is still the same as previous syllabus. So uh, the majority of question uh, would be much about partnership like about the drivers of the partnership or about the reason for partnership failure and there are other two as well like uh, the uh, qualification of supplier or uh, some models like uh, project popular matrix and uh, uh, supplier preferencing matrix um there are other questions about early supply involvement, mostly about the advantages and disadvantages, and the question about uh, competitive advantage or competitive strategy and implication for uh, procurement. Okay, um, they are tend to be uh, quite significant in FM6, and uh, as I said, uh, FM6 questions tend to be quite basic. Okay, they are quite basic. And most of them would be, I think, uh, it will be easy for um today participants, and uh, only a few, as I can like here, only a few, only a few questions are becoming uh challenging like this. Uh, Jessica, I think you also need to um tell me the score from other the particip participant as well. Okay, so Karen is a winner today with 23 marks. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, second come with uh, Mayuwa 13 and uh, on, on G also get 13. Okay, let me see. Uh, 
and Yanga come with 10. Okay, pretty high score. Um, Hey, Karen. Okay, I think I need to uh, let Karen unmute. Karen, can you unmute? I allow you to unmute. And also tell me uh, what kind of reward you want to get. Hey, do you have the access to FM6? Uh, our, our FM6 practice questions. Um, thank you, Daniel. Um, I don't have access to the L4 M6, um, but I would give my prize to the second winner. It, it is fine because I have to prepare for the exam on Tuesday. So I'm pretty much prepared. So I, I would give it to someone else. They can have the second, but person can have my prize. Okay, <laughs> very generous. Karen, very generous. So uh, the prize would go to the runner up. Okay, but we have uh two two people with the same score, Mayowa and Anji. Okay, so we need to rely on uh, additional criteria, right? Okay. Um. Yeah. Let Let me think how we can decide the winner in this game by uh, between Mayowa and Anji. Okay, this is um I I I am unexpected. I I don't expect this situation, and it's very hard for me to decide the winner today. So Karen reject the prize. So I need to serve that to um. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Idipa. Uh, you suggest a criterion for selecting winner. Uh, the first to give correct answer. Okay, but um, it's very hard to track. Jessica, can you summarize uh, in uh, the question? So uh, with Maju, between Majuwa and Anji, um, who give first answer here? Okay, let me check it. Okay, thank you very much. For checking, I found that major one. Yeah. And so and the many questions and um and major one answer question quickly than Onji. Yeah. Okay. So uh, major one uh, answer answer the question more quickly than Onji. Um. Sorry, Anji, but uh, Majua is the uh, winner today with the, the prize. Okay, um, let me ask Majua. Majua, okay, uh, quite a game. And also uh, the Haggis scorer reject the prize. Uh, Majua, can, can you unmute yourself? I already keep that permission. And uh, please tell me, uh, do you have the light of access to our practice question. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, tomorrow is my exam date. I'm writing my exam tomorrow. So I have your practice question as I'm practicing already, but I don't have the latest one. So whichever one you want to go by. Thank you. Okay. Um. So what is your preference? Uh, Netflix, Git code, or no top up? Okay, I, I need to decide the price. Uh, uh, it's, it's hard, right? It's hard, right? You can use your coin to decide. 
Yeah, I'm making use of your app. So I don't know the difference between the two. Uh, with Netflix, then you at least you may have like a uh, um pretty uh free month for a uh, subscription. Do you do you subscribe to Netflix? Ah, uh, no, no, currently no. Okay, um, I so I think mobile top up would be better. Uh, cap like this price may help you to reduce your next um mobile bill. Uh, Daniel. I have uh, one suggestion. Uh, um, if uh, Mazua um, don't need the practical question of LFM six, uh, you can ask him about the the other practitioners if he uh, he is interested in. Okay, Mazua, do you have any interest in other subject or practice tests uh, from our collection? Yes, I do because uh, next month I think I've uh, bought your questions for uh module two and seven already. Yes. Yeah, I think uh pr probably module one and eight will be better for me if you have that. You want to get the access for F one one. Yeah, one or eight. One or eight. Okay, so uh, let me prepare that and uh, just to confirm. Um, okay, is your email majuwa apolami at gmail dot com? Okay, I will send yes. the to this. Email. Yes, majuwa apolami at gmail dot com. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so yeah. we have we have the uh, uh, so you get the reward today. Okay, and that's be great and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the gift. I sure most appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we may end our event and uh, I'm happy to see today we have a fight a game and a lot of answers coming. I hope that you also learned something from today's event and uh, um, okay, after after this, uh, sorry, after next week, then, then we may come back with the event and prepare for um uh November exam okay so remember that we often organize the um, event uh, during the weekend and uh, uh with the new format like this i hope that it would get more inter interactions and more engagement and uh even more excitement from the participant so uh first thing uh and final thing final thing um uh, i would uh, wish the luck and uh Finger crossed to everyone, to every participant today, and good luck with your exam this September. Goodbye, and see you again after the exam. See you next event. Goodbye.